What up, YouTube? This is Geo Stellfar One, and well, part ten of the Losi LMT Grave Digger mini series. Um, all these upgrades have been brought to you by Trell, uh, amongst other companies that I'm utilizing right now. And I'll just go over everything that I've done for part ten. This should be a very interesting um, part. It's going to be a part 11, 12, and then 13 is when you're going to see this thing bash around with... I bought a few of these guys, uh, these launch pad thingies. So we'll we'll see how that works out. Um, so let's talk about the Grave Digger. Um, I have enjoyed uh, this series build for some time now. I've had a, a Traxxas Grave Digger two-wheel drive. I've had the mini Grave Digger from Traxxas, and the Losi one has been the most scale one that I've played with at this point, especially on the mini the mini side of it. Um, this has been a fun fun build. Um, it's pretty pretty accurate to scale, um, realistically speaking, other than having an engine in it. But uh, I'll go across everything that I've done, stuff that's coming in, and then we'll see what happens at this point on. So um, let's start off with the flag. The flag I got from uh, eBay. Uh, the seller's pretty cool. The flag, um, they sell, they send it to you with the mounting bracket right there. And uh, it's go over there. It's very flexible. It's very durable, which, you know, when you're able to flip and everything like that, it's just, it holds, it, it, it holds itself. Now, as for the flag itself, he does send you two, two, two flags uh, in there, which is pretty cool. I thought that was really nice of, uh, of him sending that as well when you are uh, attaching this and just bashing around with it. Um, as you can see from the back, I do have the Trell Wheelie accessory kit. Um, you're not gonna tighten all these down if you want them to spin, because uh, if you've tightened them down, they just lock up and stuff like that. So um, if you want a continuous type scenario, you want to have it loose, make sure everything's locked tight. But there's the rear. If I'm going still with the rear, uh, I'm looking at uh, the beautifully, beautifully set up rims. Really nice. Uh, I had a situation to where one of the rims, um, a screw broke and I couldn't get it out of it. And uh, Trell and their customer service side uh, took care of me uh, with that. As you can see, uh, everything on the rear, um, right here where I have my diffs at, uh, the extensions, uh, if you look really closely, there's green uh, green hubs over there. Uh, the sway, the rear sway bar, uh, people ask if they come in um, uh, pairs of it, you know, uh, two sets, and it does. Um, I do not have the upgraded shocks. Uh, that's coming in from low C, so we'll see what happens at that point on. Uh, let's go to the front. Once again, these beautiful... Uh, uh, rims attached to these um, these low C tires uh, it does come with foam inserts, so it's pretty cool. Take your time when you're doing this. I'm telling you right now, take your time. It's going to be an undertaking. Uh, let's go to the front. As you can see, I have uh, the steering is in purple. Uh, the hub carriers are purple. The the links are green. There's a sway bar right there. You're gonna see the links when I open this whole thing up. Um, Trell does not make a servo saver, so I have to see which company I'm going to be utilizing to do the servo saver. Uh, I am upgrading the servo. There's a few companies out there. I know Spectrum makes an updated version. Not too sure if it's waterproof or not, but we'll find out uh, very soon. Uh, I believe Savox makes another one and Reef makes another one. So we'll see what we're going to be doing in the near future. Um, let's go for the underbelly. You're going to see the transmission case right there. I did upgrade the drive shafts that are right here. Uh, also from Trell, uh, there is a company that makes um, the protectors, uh, the skid plates and stuff like that. Maybe I might go with them, maybe with that, because I think if I put the skid plates on, it's just going to scratch up the aluminum. And uh, either which way, if I want to scratch up the aluminum, then I'm just not going to need it anyway. Um, transmission case came out uh, really nice. Uh, it does take some time. There's a lot of screws into this thing, so uh, have patience when it comes down to uh, your mi mini uh, LMT. So let me crack open the hood and I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing. Uh, also, I did buy the buttons. Um, this is, I'm going to have purple and green. So it just meshes up uh, for the body mounts. Uh, those are going to be changed out. And as we go internally with this RC, as you can see, the chassis is by Trell. It is green. I wish there was a company that made this, but I guess there has to be some type of flexibility to get the bodies on. 
Um, so I am most likely going to change this into a brushless edition. Why not, right? I have enough, as of right now, I, with the wheels that are way, staying right there, I have pretty much enough to uh, start building another one. So <laughs> we'll see what happens in the near future. I have a lot of stuff there that I can do that I'm transferring over and, and having this whole thing set up. So um, yeah, if you guys have any recommendation of what uh, brushless system is out there, specifically for the mini uh, LMT, that would be great. Um, I would like to do that. <clears throat> I guess the next uh, upgrade series that I'm gonna be doing is, uh, the next upgrades I'm gonna be doing for this will be the shocks, the buttons, the servo, and seeing what type of brushless system. So I know there's going to be a part 11, 12, and 13 is when you're gonna see me bash around with this and everything like that. But I uh, just wanted to keep you guys updated with what's happening. Um, yeah, if you like this and this was very informative or you have any questions, uh, feel free to, you know, Put a comment below. I have no problem answering any of your questions. Rate, comment, subscribe. Until my fellas up on YouTube. Later.